Hey, what is going on guys, Darius here, and today I have a new tutorial for you. Um, by the way, I made a new channel, it's called the Play Coon, and I uh, post AMVs there. You can check it out in the description, and uh, yeah, sorry for not making so many tutorials lately. I've been like really busy at work and stuff like that, so uh, yeah, it's kind of <laughs> heartbreaking tutorial-wise. But yeah, last time we left off at the uh, eyedropper tool, so... What does it do? It basically uh, samples a color from uh, your current canvas. So like for example we have this uh, nice horizon picture. So if I click on the yellow area, as you can see my, uh, my what's it called? Foreground color changes uh, to uh, yellow. If I click on blue, it changes to uh, this sky darkish blue and stuff and on brown here under. So uh, you can also select it I mean, while, while you're having another tool, like for example the brush tool, um, I'm going to hold Alt and as you can see it appears automatically. Like if you want a quick sample, um, if you want a quick sample from the image. Okay, and now we have the uh, color sampler tool and this is a quite useless piece of fucking tool. I mean, you click on <laughs> colors and you sample them. You can click four times, select four colors. And the only good thing here is that you can actually like see the information here on the color one, two, three, and four. Um, I mean, okay, uh, it's pretty useless, but um, okay, let's move on. Next, we have a really awesome tool, uh, which is uh, perfect for our horizon here. As you can see, it's not normal; it's a bit tilted. So we got our ruler tool, and if I select it and I click on one side of the horizon and I go along the um, the line of the horizon and if I click on straighten layer voila it just straightened my uh, image and uh, now the horizon is uh, basically uh, straight <laughs> um, and yeah there's there are some uh, cropping issues which you have to uh, do manually uh, let me see like this and as you can see okay you know it's it's not that bad it's a high resolution picture anyway which is how it should be if you're taking uh, horizon pictures okay and now we have the note tool and it basically does exactly what it says it uh, it's a note tool I mean you click around on your image and you can add notes like for example uh, take point of what you did on this image at this certain time like uh, I straightened the horizon with my ruler tool blah 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 and uh, it's gonna be there and if I uh, right click and then open note I can uh, have it here and uh, or, or out you can just drag it out and uh, you can just see what you did like if you want pieces of information on your image it's I mean it's an okay tool I mean I won't judge it that much but um, yeah, these were the uh, four tools under the eyedropper tool section. Um, now we're going to go to the uh, spot healing brush tool and so on. And we're going to switch to this image here, which is kind of hard to watch, but uh, we can fix this. Let me just zoom in a bit. So we have uh, our spot healing brush tool selected. And this is an awesome tool. We have three options here, proximity match, gray texture, and content aware. And right now we're going to need content aware for uh, this. I'm going to teach you proximity match and the rest uh, a bit later. So content aware and the spot healing brush tool. These go hand to hand. And if I click on my picture on the zit, check that out. It just removes it completely. There is absolutely no more zit. And I could just hide it like so and so, and so and here too, and it it works brilliantly. I mean, it's it's a fantastic. It's probably the best, one of the best features that Photoshop has, and this is tremendously helpful for uh, models. I don't know, you know, how they Photoshop their stuff. And uh, hell, you can't even remove this guy's eyes. Let me just do that actually, because it's pretty funny. I'm just going to take out his eyes because you don't need eyes. You only need eyebrows, Jesus. Look at that, look at that. Where are his eyes? Wait, let me just remove the eyebrows too. There we go. And there we go. Well, <laughs> okay, um, I get, I think yeah, that you get the point now. Um, and uh, let's just undo that. Uh, 
next we have the uh, what's it called healing brush tool and it's basically you uh, hold alt and click on uh, a side on, on your picture to sample basically an area that you're going to use uh, to cover these zits and right now I have this area selected so if I can click here you know I can just brush around here like this and it's going to cover the area uh, with uh, the skin sample that we just took like if you take a sample of the zit of the red it's going to have zits and you can actually add more zits and uh, that's basically how it works and next we have the patch tool and this is a a good tool to uh, uh, patch certain areas definitely not for this uh, zit guy but I'm just going to select an area anyway and I can actually just uh, select an area which I want to cover this uh, cheek so I'm going to select this other part of the cheek and it's going to just uh, cover that zit like uh, it was nothing this is an awesome tool I love content to wear it's like awesome uh, and now the content aware move tool now the content aware move tool does exactly what it says. I don't want this zit here for example, so I just select the area. Oops, bad selection. And I can just drag it and put it on the other side and check it out. It content aware this side and just moved it to uh, this side. It doesn't look that natural though. It's probably because I sampled skin from here, which is a bit bright and dark and stuff like that. Let me just try from here and here. Yeah, that looks all right. I mean, <laughs> You get the point as the tool um, and uh, next we have the red eye tool and uh, right now I don't have a red eye image I'm just gonna load it be right back okay so we got our demon baby uh, red eye picture and uh, we are going to remove this and uh, you don't want this uh, when you're taking pictures with your camera like the red eye is a very big problem uh, in cameras and to remove this just select this area with our red eye tool and check that out perfectly uh, blue eyes yeah <laughs> and uh, you can do this also here and check that out beautiful beautiful original picture of a baby and okay in the next tutorial I will cover the uh, brush tool the pencil tool because there's a lot to talk about these and uh, especially the mixer brush tool and the brush tool with all these freaking options <laughs> I'm gonna talk I'm gonna make probably two parts of that it's like really long and uh, I'm also going to make a quick tutorial on how to install various things, how to install brushes, uh, actions, uh, gradients, patterns, and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I hope you like this tutorial. Uh, <laughs> um, sorry again for not posting uh, in such a long time, which is not that much for me. I've been, people who are subscribed to me know that I have been absent for more time um before but yeah right now I'm, I'm just busy you know I mean I have a new channel too and uh, there's work and uh, there's stuff that I have to do you know <laughs> okay guys um, see you then cheers